always want this freedom for artists, right? There, there was always constraints, and this feels like an order of magnitude leap as far as freedom to create goes. With Unreal Engine 5, the most important thing is you want to be able to play what you create right away. We wanted to do more of a gameplay-oriented experience that would be able to function on the next-gen consoles that were coming about. What could we do beyond what we thought we could achieve that we had no choice but to invent new ideas? So what we wanted to do with that demo is to push Unreal Engine to this limit and see what it's capable of doing. Our artists spend a ton of time making these beautiful, high-poly sculpted models. And what ends up in the game is a baked down, watered down version of their artistic vision. Well, the Nanite technology is a realization of the graphics industry's goal, which is we want artists to be able to author multi-billion polygon meshes and for an engine like Unreal to be able to ingest that and for performance to become the engine's problem and not the artist's problem. In the cave, we're using Quixel high-res Megascan assets. So when you look down in the cave, down to pebble scale, you can see the detail. Now you don't have to worry about generating normal maps or low-resolution proxies. You can load in full movie quality assets straight into the engine and be able to use them in your game. The fidelity level that we've seen in films before, but then running at an interactive frame rate is really just kind of startling at times. Lumen is an amazing feature because it really unleashes the power of bounce light. And bounce light to photography and cinematography is the holy grail. And it's not a baking process, it's completely live. So you can move geometry, move characters, you know, open a wall, open a window, and you get live results in front of you that look just like they would do to a camera. My favorite part of the demo by far is when you're in the temple, it's dark and eerie, and all of a sudden the ceiling opens up and you just get, it just completely changes the way you feel about the scene. This demo really does represent a coming of age of Nagra as a visual effects tool. It's programmable, so users are no longer constrained by a fixed function simulation. They can write their own behaviors to create visual effects that people have never seen before. For example, bats and ambient bugs skittering through the environment. These are actually very complex Niagara simulations. All of these interesting features, and we're going to give them to the community and just see what comes out. This has to be the right way. The way contextual animation works in these environments is we want the character to interact and be a part of this environment. So we are starting off with photogrammetry assets. And in the past, animation systems can count on things like grid systems and flat surfaces. And we had this very organic environment to work with. And our big goal was to have the character interact organically with these assets. And so we had to do a lot of animation, manipulation, and warping to get that to work. The animation aligns with the world. It's believable and it didn't require the animator to make a lot of content to make that happen. What excites me the most about NextGen is to be able to have access to the latest technology and work with the greatest tools to create the most compelling experience. We want to try to create technology that just works, that really frees developers from having to worry about the technical constraints of making their games and focus on making great art, on making games that are fun. No longer are you having to wait hours and hours for a frame to be generated that looks pleasing and believable. It actually can happen in front of your eyes. I feel like the combination of Unreal Engine and next generation hardware has the potential to give us things we've never seen before. It's time to see what's next. You can start your games now, and when UE5 is, is ready to go, you can transfer over and get all these new capabilities. The most exciting part of this next generation is the ability to achieve complete photorealism in all of the pixels in the scene, and to put that capability within reach of every artist.